this time, I'm not going to forget to activate the cheat code before we start. Tougher. 64%. Alright, so we finished up Razor Ridge and K3 last time, which is great. Unfortunately, well, the toughest part of the game still await us. Doesn't I just figure? So we gotta go back to the general store and get that mirror. Unless we already did. Did we already grab it? So then, how may I be of assistance to you? Oh, I already got the mirror. Thanks for your business, Kitty. Oh, that's right, I traded it to the guy. For seven bucks. Yeah, hot hot weather definitely is a thing. Now, I'm of the belief I, I will never complain about hot weather because I much prefer hot weather to the freezing cold Michigan winters that we have. Alright, Blue's Beach Hut. We got a present for you, Blue. A present? For me? Oh, thank you, Kitty! You've really made my day. Let's have a look inside. Oh, it's a bowling ball. Well, it's far too heavy for me. I know! Why don't you have it, Kitty? This guy just gave us his birthday present. Best of luck at your quest, Kitty! <laughs> I can only use the pink bowling balls with Mommy's little bowler written on it. Ooh! Buying stuff for the new house. Should be moving in on Thursday. Congrats! That's really exciting! Yep, furniture buying can be quite an experience. I live very close to an Ikea, so I have been multiple times to get furniture. Oh wait, that's not where we need to go. Now that we got the bowling ball, we gotta go back to Mechanos. Or Mechanos, however you pronounce it. To the Brigader Bazooka Bear. What have you got there, kitty? A heavy ball. Well, you never know, it might just work. Shall we load up Big Bessie and see if she'll fire? <laughs> Lock and load, sir. Okay, let's give it a go. Ready, aim. He launched us, not the bowling ball. I never understood that. Like, it should be he launches the bowling ball here and it knocks it down for us. Sky high secret. Well, that one was easy. Cool. Another banana bird. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's a bear and couldn't lift a bowling ball. If he was a human, maybe I could understand it, but, uh, he's a bear. Those fans are enormous and ridiculously strong. That guy's... what a wuss. Alright, let's see if I can get the, uh, the mirror back from the barter shop. Zoop! I don't think we'll need it yet, but... Hey, kitty! Do you want your mirror back? Well, it is mine. Well, if you want it back, then it's gonna cost you. That's right, ten coins. It's my mirror! Beauty doesn't come cheap, you know. Still want it? Yes, you swindler. Well, okay, I was getting bored of being so neat and tidy anyway. <laughs> Yogi could throw it far if there was a picnic basket in his reach. Alright. <laughs> We're off to the GBA exclusive world. Okay, we already did that cave. GBA exclusive world's gonna be a tough one. I don't think it's as tough as Razor Ridge, but it definitely gets nasty. Undercover Cove. We still haven't gotten to the really hard ones yet. But that's going to change pretty soon, I think. I forget if there is... Nope, alright. Then we're off to the giant puddle of water that is Pacifica. All this is unique to the GBA version, starting with the dingy drain pipe. Some of the levels in here are really great, and others are not. This one's kind of average. I don't hate it, but I don't, like, adore it. Alright, there we go. Throw it up to make it go slowly. 
And there we go. Yep, it, we are in a sewer pipeline. Oh, that's not fair. Well, let's hope we don't need the team fro for anything. I mean, I'm probably going to die on this level anyways. Donkey Kong Country 3 has a lot of underwater levels. I feel like half of the half of the like world level types in the game are like, oh, there's underwater. Collect 40 stars. Oh yeah, this one. Pretty easy. 64 coins! Nice. Love that number. Guess you could say that's Donkey Kong 64 coins. <laughs> that was dumb. Don't laugh at that. Much to like Floodlit Fish, this is a level that has a lot of lurchins that just kind of hang out and hit you out of nowhere. Also, Clownfish. I guess the gimmick of this level being, like, partially above water, partially underwater is kind of interesting? A little? Maybe? Possibly? Wow, that's a lot of stuff that they just kind of hand you for free. <laughs> okay. Cool. You definitely will want on guard. Surely on guard's needed for more than that. Is that really all that on guard's used for? I definitely remember you having on guard for a longer period of time on this level. Wait, what? What the heck is going on? Um, did we just glitch past the sign, or is that sign not supposed to be there? I'm pretty sure that sign is not supposed to be there. Okay, yeah, that sign's not supposed to be there. I distinctly, yeah, because I distinctly remember you having on guard for a moment. What the heck? I glitched a sign on screen somehow. Uh, speedrunning community? <laughs> can you... Can you chime in here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, no? Maybe... What? What is this? So, we have... Okay, no. No, this, we glitched past the sign, somehow. <laughs> Come on, our guard! <laughs> Just go a little farther! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> What is this? I have never seen this glitch before in my entire life. Oh no. I freaking need kitty calling here, don't I? Rocket barrel time. Well, that was strange. No, she wasn't. Don't be dirty. She was trying to get him to go forward. Alright, well that was extremely strange. I have no idea how we were able to clip past that. Alright. And unfortunately that bonus barrel is at the very end of the level, so we gotta go for the whole thing again. Doggone it! Supposed to hit both of them. I don't know why all these hedgehogs are hanging out in the sewer. It seems a little strange to me. Alright, so there's a lurchin on that side, and then a lurchin on that side. Cool. Wouldn't it be funny if the if the no on guard sign gave us the bonus barrel? I know it doesn't. But that would be funny if it's like, oh, you glitched through it and you don't get the bonus barrel now.
pew, 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 pew. All right, this level is a little easier than I, re I remember this level being extremely difficult, but if you if you take it if you don't go barreling in at a really high speed, it's actually not too bad. Okay. So here's the part where we grab on guard. Now let's see if the sign will actually work. I wonder if it's like me going backwards and then doing on guard super move is kind of what glitch fins up. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Alright, we just get- alright. Well this part's gonna be a lot harder without on- okay. Oh, what?! That's- That's a lot of bull. That was really dumb. Kitty Cone, why are you so freaking giant? Dang, that speed that we got, though. I was not expecting it to just suck a bunch of lurchins down, though. I thought because they had left the screen, they despawned. I guess this is not an NES game. Let's keep Kitty Kong in the back until we actually reach the point where he needs us to throw us up. Lurchins do suck. We don't need on guard. Take this area a little bit slower. That's definitely the toughest part of the level. Okay. I'm gonna sit here and yeah. It sucked the lurchins through the floor, which is not okay. <laughs> 90 lives. Let's hope we can get that up to 100 at some point, but we probably won't, because we got some really tough levels ahead. Collect 55 stars, including the level that I truly consider to be the toughest level, not just in the game, but in the whole trilogy. <laughs> and it's GBA exclusive. Ain't that fun. There we go. I'm not worried about a game over, for sure. Cool. And there we go, Dingy Drainpipe is done. And now we go to Barnacles Island, which is normally in Lake Arena Tana in the SNES version. What a beautiful shell! It's just what I need to finish off me collection! Say, Combs, would you swap that shell for me, bird? Arr, that I will. You would? Ah, that's great! Here, look after this banana bird. Well, that was easy. There was a giant shark in there, though. Alright, off to Stormy Seas, one of my favorite levels in the game, and this is not in the SNES version. At least it's near the end of the world where it belongs, and I do know the whole down while swimming trick, although that'll probably bring me more trouble than it's worth. This level is so pretty. I love the dark blue background. Um... What? Why did that not blow him up? Okay. Alright, well, let's just try that again. 
Oh, and hey, there's an extra life at the start of this level, so we'll never run out of lives here. Take that, Neek. Down with clasps. I see that. Took me ages on my first playthrough to find that bonus barrel. Oh, no, that, that's fine. But do note the family friendly tag. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, that was bad. We're probably gonna want Dixie Kong for that. This is one of the toughest bonus rooms in the game? I get maybe? It's not the toughest, though. This one's not too bad. Dixie Cone has an easier time with it, because she's faster on the horizontal ropes. Darn it. Dixie's a little better on the ropes than Kitty is. Ooh, slow down. Okay, we're gonna need the team throw up there. I thought I could bounce off the clasp. That was not worth it. <laughs> and I didn't even have an, a NES. I only had... I, my first system was actually the GameCube. Before that, we just had computer. And old PC games that were education. Although we did rent N64s for a while, uh, from a local video store. At least we got a lot of time for this bonus level. Okay, well that, that was not fair. He literally was just waiting for us. So you're, you bet you cannot get off the rope once you move onto it. If you do, he will just destroy you. I do not remember this bonus barrel being hard. Don't be afraid to do the hair dude. There we go. Yeah, just stay, go back and forth. Because you got lots of time for that one. Really? Here we go. There's on guard. Someone tells me that using Hongard is uh, making me miss a lot of important stuff. Yeah, uh, Hongard, you definitely made me skip a lot of stuff. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> that was not designed to be gone from right to left.
Well, you know what? If I missed something, I'll get it on a second playthrough. Pretty sure we need to crack open a plank at the end. I almost ran into a clownfish. That would have been dumb. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're going through again. We still have another bonus barrel and the the coin to grab, so. I know at least one of those is at the end. Looks like we actually did not miss anything from the on guard section. Which is kind of amazing to me. Um, I'm not sure why I blew up there. Did I just barely... Did I just barely miss his, like... Reawaken cycle, but then I was too low to actually hit the top of his head, so it... that's annoying. Background on this level is really pretty. That life counter. I'll oh, come off it. Stupid TNT barrel. Oh, that's right, this is where the other bonus barrel is. I think we need Kitty in order to get the coin, though. Hope not. Okay, well that was a really easy bonus barrel when compared to the other one. It's like, oh no, get over the bees. We can do this. <laughs> You're not getting to the end, but you'll get the DK coin. That's fine. Now we just have to make it to the end. This one, this level seems simple, but it's actually trickier than I remember. At least if you're playing it on hard mode. With no checkpoints, no calm barrels.
Well, there goes our ride. <laughs> good enough, on guard. You did good. These TNT barrels are slightly... And by slightly, I mean very glitchy. Like, you can't kill the TNT barrels with other TNT barrels. When you could in, uh... Country 2. I just don't get it. That's fine. Good enough! Yeah, I, I barely beat Donkey Kong Country Returns regularly. Let alone, I haven't even unlocked Mirror Mode in that. Returns is the toughest game in the, the DK Country series, I would say. Part of it is I just did not like the Wii controls. Oh boy, it's time for Sunken Spruce. Really interesting idea for a level, but just not that fun. Although the coin is, like, right here, so that's cool. Again, the underwater trees are, like, a cool idea. The problem is there's a lot of really... There's a lot of just this, of, like, you can barely see below you, and there are really fast fish that just kind of catch you off guard. Also, the, the 3DS version is easier. Not only are the controls better, but um, you have an extra heart. You only have two hearts in the Wii version. This level has one of the nastiest bonus levels in the game. I distinctly remember a specific bonus level on this, and it's awful. Yeah, really, it is the, the tiny vertical screen that makes this level so difficult. And this might be it. I think this is the bonus barrel. Collect 70 stars. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's the other one. This one's relatively simple. There's a, the other bonus barrel on this level. Oh my gosh, it's the worst. That one is perfectly doable. Well, great, now we just have Colossal Kitty and his massive hitbox. Well, that didn't last too long. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Alright, I had to check. I didn't think there was anything to the right there, but... That would be a great place to put a warp barrel if you wanted. I love the happy music on this level, but, uh, I just don't really like the level. <laughs> really a unique idea, though. Like, the idea of an underwater tree is a fun idea. But again, just the screen is way too small. Why not war barrels this late in the game? Donkey Kong Country ha ha 1 has a war barrel on Trick Track Track. That's in the second to last one. Then again, Donkey Kong Country 1 was more sporadic with its war barrels.
this. I still... I've never played Chrono Trigger. I've heard it's good, though. I've heard it's kind of like the definitive RPG. No! That's okay. I'm pretty sure we don't need both cones to get to the exit plus the other bonus barrel. Okay, that, I hate that part. <laughs> I'll add it to my loan list. Well, that's right, the steel kegs float for some reason. It's not how that would work in real life, but that's fine. I don't play I don't play Donkey Kong Country for the realism. Shout for the giant clownfish. The boss bass. Or the bount bounty bass, I think is its name. The boss bass is, I think, from Yoshi's Island. Or it's from the Mario series. It pro Chrono Trigger probably would be a case of it's been overhyped, so I don't like it as much, but I bet I'd still like it. Darn it. I feel like there's a lot of really tight precision swimming that you need to make on this level. Like, a lot. Like, right there! There's almost no gap between those two dumb fish. I don't want to be contrary just for contrary's sake. But that was nearly a disaster. I hope you guys like the first part of this level, because uh, we're going to be seeing it a lot. Why are you so freaking giant, Kitty Calm? Your hitbox feels like it's like three times as big as Dixie's. Maybe going up the middle is easier? I think going up the middle is harder. Because they reach the middle more quickly than they reach the edge. But maybe if I could time it that like I swim past the first set of fish, then when I'm in the middle, the second set of fish pass each other? I bet that's what you're supposed to do, but it feels like that would be really difficult. Yeah, I probably should try the down button up swimming. Yeah, thank goodness the GBA version had such a great soundtrack. Although, I do like the SNES tree soundtrack as well. The, the more ominous one. I remember when I played DK Country Free GBA for the first time, like, the soundtrack made me feel nostalgic even on my first playthrough. Which, like, that's, that's incredible. Okay, yeah, the down, the down swimming definitely helped me there. Reach the hard part of the level, by the way, which is the second bonus barrel. Oh, down down swimming's gonna really help get past these fish. Actually, I think the down swimming will make the other bonus barrel a lot easier. Wait, did I miss the second bonus barrel? Or was that the first one? I forget. Oh, 
Oh no, there's the second one. Oh no, you jerk butt monkey! Okay, yeah, I think the I think the down swimming is gonna make this a lot easier, but this is still nasty. So first you have to swim up past them. Now you gotta swim down past them. And you don't have a lot of time for that one. I can't believe I did that first try. Yeah, down swimming definitely helps. No, oh, Dick Kitty calling you and your stupid giant hitbox. <laughs> Doing the tough parts, but I'm flubbing up the easy parts. I really hate Kitty Cone's massive size. Like, it really didn't bother me in earlier playthroughs, but like when I'm playing hard mode, my goodness, it really bites you in the butt. Those were not easy bees. They were moving pretty quickly in the rotational direction towards me, and I only had Kitty Cone. That's not easy to get through. Like I said, hope you guys like the first part of this level, because we're seeing it a lot. See, Kitty Comb 100% would have gotten hit there. That was a near disaster. I'm now seeing why people don't like Kitty Comb. I mean, I think it's I think it's kind of dumb that Kitty Comb is like a fiend in this game when you could have used Donkey Comb instead. It's like Donkey it's Donkey Kong Country and he's only playable in the first one. Attack ah, on you to kitty I repeat, this is not the hardest level in the world. Not even close. I turn my eyes away to look at Twitch chat for one second, and Kitty Cone dies. Yep, that's about right. I could have made a story about Donkey Kong rescuing himself. <laughs> that would be a very different kind of game. It's going, oh no, Donkey Kong's been kidnapped. It's okay, he's got this, he just breaks out. We have Mario not really appearing in Super Mario. It's called... Oh, um... Mario is missing. I was about to say Hotel Mario. No, Mario is missing. <laughs> we all know how bad that game was. <laughs> oh, come on! Ah! It is really, really hard to change going from up to going... To, from If you're going up in the water, it's really, really hard to start going down instead. And by that, I mean it's literally impossible. I just have gotten everything on the level, I just have to get to the end. like a Zelda game where you don't play as Zelda. I mean, probably. Although, ironically, <laughs> the best Donkey Kong Country game is one where you don't play as Donkey Kong. DK Country 2 is still my favorite, and I would say it is 
the best of the Donkey Kong Country games. That is hard to get through, because you have to swim high, you have to do like up and swim up in order to get past the first set of fish, then you have to immediately go and do the down. That first fish, like, is always following. If that's one of the CDI games, I don't even count those as Zelda games. Kitty Cone, like, you take up the entire tree trunk. Kitty Cone's pretty competent when he's on land, but if he's underwater, he's just, like, bloated, massive, and offers nothing. Underwater, he's like, oh, you like Dixie? Try me, I'm worse. It's one of the reasons why I like Donkey Kong 64 so much. You play as, like, five different cones, but they're all good. No, not one of the cones in that game feels really bad. Don on you! Sonic game where you don't play as Sonic? Well, I mean, you don't play as Sonic in the adventure games on every level. And those are, like, arguably the best Sonic games. <laughs> How about, like, Tails' Adventure? How about Sonic Heroes? Like, any team that's not Team Sonic. How about Mean Bean Machine? My personal favorite of the Sonic games, maybe. I don't even know who you play as in that. You play as yourself, I think. No, you can just swim down in that room and the bosses don't hit you. Sometimes those bosses get off sync and they, they get a lot more annoying to deal with. My personal strategy for that part is just take a hit. Are you- I did not touch the fish! No part of me made contact with that fish. Kitty Kong's- Kitty Kong's hitbox extends way past his actual sprite. Yeah, this is about how I remember Sunken Spruce being. It's like, this shouldn't be hard, but it is. <laughs> better than Poyo Poyo. It has better music and, uh, better characters. It's kind of weird how there's just, there's just one banana hanging out there, but it's not leading to, like, any invisible prize. It's literally just one banana. Ironically, Kitty has no problem with that part. Wow, you're doing good, Kitty. Well, you were doing good, Kitty. Did not say ponytail twirl. I did not. <laughs> it's 
So we're going to be spending the entire stream on this level, apparently. If they get off sync, it gets a lot harder. If they're both at the same, like, place, great. But <laughs> if they're not, not fun. go. Oh my gosh, we finally finished Sunken Spruce. <sighs> Alright, now it's time for one of the better levels in this world, Cliffside Blast. If memory serves, this one's one of the easier levels in the Pacifica world. Yeah, I did not get notified that auto mod was activated. If you don't want Automod to activate, just don't use bad language. It's very simple. Oh, okay, I was not expecting it to rotate that direction. Um... What? How was I supposed to have known that? It was B there. <laughs> what? Okay, well that's terrible design. I'm going to probably notice a lot of new stuff now that I'm doing this on hard mode. Okay. Remember, I said I just remember this being one of the easier levels, not that it actually was. I think the problem was I spawned the Zaners on screen, but then went back down. I need more practice with the rotating barrel cannons, I guess. Nope! Never mind. No, that's just terribly designed. Okay, I think we're about to actually encounter a level that's just really badly designed. I did not notice any of this stupid stuff happening when I wasn't playing on hard mode, though. Probably because if I got hit, I could just replenish it with a bloody barrel. Okay. I, I also hate how the slopes, like, suck you down. Yeah, I don't remember this nonsense! I remember this being a very fun and very balanced level. And then, this shenanigans are happening. There's our first bonus barrel, at least. 22 stars. Oh no. Why did it have to be copters? At least they're slow. This is 
still better than Confused Cliffs. What? I, I jumped on top of your head! That is BS! I can't, because Twitch chat is on screen for the whole time and moves up. That's why you don't tell dirty jokes. How did that get past the plate? This is actually going to be tough without Kitty Kong. This horizontal throwing really helps for getting the coin on this level. Dixicone is just a very precise throw. Oh, come on! I swear it's like you move to a new part of a the screen, then just B comes out of nowhere. she actually changed this level? Because I swear I don't remember any of this nonsense. Even when they're slow, I always end up doing it at the wrong time. Like, always. I also am likely going to miss one of the bonus barrels. I don't remember exactly where it is. Maybe it's over here. Showed up out of nowhere. I think there's a hole in the wall somewhere where there's a bonus barrel. Yikes. See, the copters here are actually, like, more balanced than the bees, because the bees are just so dang fast and come out of nowhere! And the weird thing is, like, this level wasn't even like, oh, well, it was designed for the SNES version where you have a larger screen and can see stuff coming. Like, no, this was literally designed for the Game Boy Advance. And it's this bad. Or rather, it has this many issues that could have been easily fixed. That's weird, because I did that upward shot in an earlier attempt and got the K.
Wow, this hole has actually turned out to be harder than Sunken Spruce. For the wrong reasons. Again, still on the hardest level. Watch me just dominate the hardest level and suffer on these levels. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Why is it so hard to aim these barrel cannons when they move this slowly? The game actually just really, really wants me to use King Kong. That's all this is really about. Still don't remember where the second bonus barrel is. I want to say this is a level where it's really easy to miss one of the bonus barrels. Or maybe it's at the end. I can't remember. At least the music is phenomenal. Not even normally a fan of country, but oof, this song is good. Bonus barrel might be at the very end. Uh oh, missed the O somewhere. That's fine. Oh, never mind. Oh, the bonus barrels on this level are easy to, uh, to find. Find the coin. Let's let's do our best. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, there we go. Those. Oh, I'm noticing the vertical levels not very good in the GBA mode. Wait, that's where... Oh, that's right, Swanky's Dash was the one up top. Alright guys, you ready for the toughest level in the game, and possibly the toughest level in the entire uh, series? Welcome to Rip Curl Reef. Remember that really annoying part of Animal Antics, the brutal bonus level in uh, Donkey Kong Country 2? With the wind that pushes you back and forth for that one part? Yeah, this whole level is like that. But it's actually worse, because whereas the wind is very predictable in G the G uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, it's not predictable here. You just gotta, like, know the entire level by heart. And there are some evil things in this level. Once again, I think that's the way you're supposed to go. Yeah, it's like, no matter which way we face, it'll, the current will blow us in that direction. You'll notice why I kept moving back and forth. That's because every time you, you're facing that direction, the wind will push you into the wall. And if you change direction, it, the wind will change. So it's literally just always trying to blow you into the wall with your made of spikes. Fair and balanced. 
Curse you, Kitty Calm! Also, this might be a level that we have to get to the end without losing a cone if we want the coin. I actually can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, very nice music. It's the only thing about it that is nice. 25 stars. Yeah, what's funny is that Rip Coral Reef never gets mentioned on the list of hardest uh, Donkey Kong Country levels. Because apparently nobody ever played the GBA version. <laughs> there we go. First bonus barrel down. And now you're gonna make us leave. There is one part of this level that I distinctly remember just being pure evil. Or I'm just like, if you don't anticipate that in advance, you will die. Over and over again. And even if you can anticipate it in advance, like, you're still probably going to die. Oh yeah, SNES version of this game, at least from what I've played, way easier than the GBA version. The lack of, like, one of the toughest worlds in the game, definitely. Yeah, it's like, oh, the wind's blowing us that direction, and we can't see what's going on in that direction either. A lot of the hard, a lot of the problems are literally just the bad camera. By bad camera, I mean tiny screen. It's like if you had a bigger screen, a lot of these levels would be a lot simpler. So animal, animal antics is wind. It's like every few seconds it'll switch from blowing left to blowing right. Here it's entirely based on your position and sometimes which direction you're facing. That was probably the bonus barrel back there, wasn't it? Oh, there it is. Pretty much. <laughs> At least the bonus barrels aren't too bad. Like, this level is pretty easy bonus battles, both in terms of finding them and in terms of completing them. Yeah, it's like, how do you know the wind is going to immediately blow you there? The answer is the wind will always blow you in the direction you don't want, in the place you don't want it to blow you, basically. I'm sorry, the current. Again, I'm 99% sure that you need both cones alive at the end if you want the coin, so... Oh, no. Nope, I'm not, I'm not going for this level as Kitty. No way, no how. Just come off it! Man, I made it through almost that whole level pretty easily. Of course, I hadn't reached the truly evil part. Kitty! Kitty doesn't actually get hit by stuff. He just is so afraid that he's going to get hit by something that he dies. Of fright. No, they should have replaced Kitty Cone with Donkey Cone. Because Kitty does have some advantages with his weight. Donkey Kong would weigh the same, so we should use him instead. And again, it is Donkey Kong Country. Oh, 
Like, you don't, you don't, you genuinely do not have enough time to react to stuff on this level. Because the wind pushes you at such a hard rate. That, like, you can't swim against it. And because the screen is so small and the scrolling is so bad, like, you basically, what you basically have to do is memorize not only the entire layout of the level, but also memorize where the currents are and when they push you in. Well, of course the hardest part's at the end. Yeah, like, you have to memorize where the fish are, because if you're at the wrong height when the wind is blowing you into a fish, you can't escape it. Screw this level. Again, this level is hard enough when there's a checkpoint and buddy barrels for you to replenish your cones. Without either of those, like... Psh. I'm gonna need to use that down swimming technique. But even then, it's still gonna be a nightmare. On. There was no fish at the Dane bottom. This just really... get ready to lose 50 lives. I don't think we're reaching 100 lives. I are you kidding me, Dixie? Your hair barely grazed it, and that was enough to just kill you. Toughen up. Now I feel like Dixie's hitbox is messed up too, even though I'm actually just playing badly. Just no, no. Gosh darn this. If this level looks hard, it's even harder. Okay, so apparently there is a fish low down at the bottom. There's really there's no winning at that part. If you're swimming with the current, you just fly straight into everything. If you're swimming against the current, you can't see what's coming your way. You've got to be.
Thankfully, this is the hardest level in the game. Ever after this, the game takes a big step backwards. <laughs> er, and by that I mean, in terms of difficulty, it takes a step backwards. It actually takes a big step forwards in terms of quality of the game. Dark Garnet! Ah! There's a fish at the bottom, a fish at the top, and a fish in the middle! How do you get past them all? Oh no, we're not getting to 100 lives. We'll probably avoid a game over, but you never know. Do, 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 do. You should not have used Kitty. He will die in a second because he's twice as fat as any other thing in the game. Again, I'm pretty certain that you need both columns alive at the end to get the coin. Oh, and that time I swim through it first try when I don't have a second column with me. Part of the key for this level is to, if the current's currently going, don't really use the control stick except for up and down. Thankfully, this level is also on the short side. Okay, I think this is the, the super evil part. Why do you- oh wait. Huh? I remember that end- wait. What was I thinking of? Let me guess, I need both columns? Maybe not? I don't need both columns. <gasps> yes! Finished! <laughs> okay, I remember there being a part on that level where the wind is constantly blowing you like away from where you need to go, so you need to fight it constantly, and then at the very end of the tunnel, it switches and rockets you into the wall where there's a virgin. Okay, worst level in the game is over. Thank goodness. Alright, time for probably the best level in the world, Surf's Up! It's a toboggan level. No, you can't jump over it. But actually, you can. <laughs> like, Surf's Up and Stormy Seas, I, I like. Dingy Drain Pipe and, like, Cliffside Blast I could take early, even then Suck and Spruce and Griffin and Coral Reef I really don't like. Uh-oh. I don't remember Lightning Lookout being that bad. That was not even the toughest level in the uh, final world. Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, no. You can team throw around the toboggan and do this level without the toboggan. Does Kitty's sprite actually make the toboggan hitbox bigger? That would be really stupid. But it also would not surprise me. Aha! Also, I made the toboggan jump when there were no cones in it. That's funny. And now, all of a sudden, we're underwater. I hate how these fish are green and blend in with the green background. But there we go. Okay, this almost may be a little tougher than I remember. <laughs> toboggan? We don't need no toboggan. Does 
doesn't necessarily make the level a lot easier, because you do have to do some precise jumps around these zingers now, but... Eh. That's fine. <laughs> hey. This is hard mode. I'm using every advantage I can get. Okay, well... Are you kidding me? Freaking kitty call, man! He looks at a bee and he dies. Man, that made the first part of the level a lot easier, though. We're gonna try that again. Nope. Rats. I swear Kitty Cone has like three times the hitbox that Dixie Cone does. Like if I got if I had an actual like square representing his hitbox, it would extend way, way past his actual spray. I'm convinced of this. This level does just seem to be buzzer spam, though. No, I was close. Although there is still a decent amount of level after the, the uh, toboggan. This level does really just seem to be like, hey, let's put a bunch of, like, Xener on top, Xener on bottom, Xener on top, Xener on bottom. I love how if you're not in the toboggan, the game spawns in a bunch of toboggans for you to have to go in. Cool. That's less cool, but we still managed it. Here we go. Whoosh! Okay, we don't want to use the steel keg on these guys. We want to use it on the coin. Well. Oh, never mind. That's not even where the coin is. Whew! You've never skipped it this way, so you've not seen it played this way. Oh, this is just find the coin, not destroy the things. Okay. I, I literally just amounted to when I was a kid. I'm like, I wonder if I could jump over the toboggan. And then there was the invisible barrel to launch me in. But I'm like, I wonder if I could jump over the invisible barrel. And I could. And I'm like, cool. Even as a child, I liked Stevens breaking. Okay. This is where the coin is. There we go. Cool! Surf's Up is done! See? That's still a fun level. And I love how you can sequence break out of the toboggan. Sweet! And that was the Whirlpool Wreck. Alright, time for the boss, Barbos' Barrier. In the SNES version, this is the boss of Razor Ridge. This guy might be the ugliest boss in the series. This 
was also the first boss where I realized that merchants could actually be killed. I did not realize Lurchins were enemies that could be killed before I did this fight, so naturally I was stuck on this fight for a while. Uh-oh. I took a hit there. Oh no! My dorsal fin! Rats! I was close, that was almost a... That was almost a first try. This guy is, like, really intimidating on the first time you play him, but once you get his, him down, he's not too bad. It's like an alternate version of King Z, basically. Yeah, like I said, this boss is ugly. I should just hang out here. That was it. Oh, he's crying now. Well done, Dixie! Ongard came in handy for tackling that strange sea creature! On to the next world! Will this game ever end? And now finally the way opens for the final level. Woohoo! There's Pacific Up. That is one nasty world. I still think I like it better than Razor Ridge definitely make the argument that it's harder than Razor Ridge, but Razor Ridge just, like, none of the levels except the last one were that fun. At least, at least Pacifica has some fun levels. Alright, off we go to the final world, the Chaos Core. Starting with one of my favorite levels in the game, the Conveyor Rope Clash. The main gimmick are these ropes that will kind of push you in one direction. It's not too bad, though. I do wish that this, the GBA version's music, didn't have so much, so many, like, atmospheric jungle noises. I wish it got to the main part of the psalm sooner. Oh, there's no bonus barrel down there. Whoops. I also like how it's like Donkey Kong Country 1, like the jungle levels were the first world, and then in Donkey Kong Country 3, the jungle levels are in the last world. <laughs> okay, that bonus barrel is just like waiting there for you. Like, they didn't even try to hide it. Collect 30 stars! And wow, that is an easy bonus barrel. Yeah, that's true. The tile, this tile set does tend to hide things just out of out of your reef sight.
There's like literally like a full 60 seconds of just junk noises before it gets to this awesome remix of the main Donkey Kong theme. This is also a level where there's one bonus barrel, the other one, that I, I always forget where it is. I, I agree, you really can't have a Donkey Kong Country game without a jungle world. It would be sacrilege. I think one of the other bonus barrels is literally just like, oh hey, it's hiding behind these these trees. That or it's like, oh you've gotta dive down in this like Oh, there it is. Collect 30 ban oh I, ha I hate the banana collecting games. All of the worst bonus games in in this game are collect the green bananas. Every single one. I guess except that one on Sunken Spruce where you have to get past all the bosses, but For that one, you, if you get unlucky with the banana spawns, you ain't going to get to the, the coin. Also, am I the only one who thinks that this level is, like, really easy, considering it's the final one? Um, what the... What just happened? I grabbed onto the top rope, said drop down onto the lower one, and then Kitty just clipped through the lower rope and did, refused to even try to grab on. Of course that would happen right as I'm saying, like, is it just me or th this, this level does feel like it's ridiculously easy for the last one. Considering that you probably either just beat Razor Ridge or Pacifica before going here. Like, this level is way easier compared to those two worlds. In fact, it's even, it's kind of even easy compared to K3. Hi, hi Mobius. I have met with a terrible fate, yes. K N. One notable exception, you agree. Oh, is it that one? I feel like half of my deaths in this playthrough have just been from bees swooping in out of nowhere and killing me because I can't possibly see them in advance. I also definitely think that Dixie's ponytail hover makes this level a lot easier. Like so many of these horizontal rope levels, but... Kitty Cone just will not grab onto that lower rope. That's very strange. Mobius could be wherever he wants. I 
I'm I'm convinced that the Ben and Jerry's flavor Chunky Monkey was named after Kitty Kong, because his hitbox just has <laughs> hit so many things it probably should not have. Yeah, like, the music's only coming on when I'm at, like, the end of the level, pretty much. Oh shoot, I missed the coin at the end, doggone it. I'm like, oh wow, that was easy! <laughs> Yuck! The coin is literally at the very end. That was dumb of me. <laughs> That's okay, I like this level a lot. It's just fun. Although I wish the game didn't spam buzzers so much. Like, there are more enemies in the game other than buzzers. They're like, okay, we'll bring in the copters again. No, 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 that's fine! <laughs> Although in this context, buzzers and copters are basically the same. Except actually buzzers are probably worse, because at least copters we can jump on their heads. Getting through this part with Kitty Kong is going to be impossible. <laughs> Next level is not going to be fun, though, so I will happily take Conveyor Rope Clash for as long as it takes. Next level is basically luck, the level. Needless to say, I don't like it. Actually, now that I think about it, this is the only level in the final world that I enjoy. The other levels all have some serious problem. That part is really difficult to do with Kitty Kong. I did not say drop down, I said jump up, you dumb game. probably should swap to Kitty Cone eventually, just because if I lose Dixie Cone, that's kind of level over. That is really tight. Okay, so yeah, that part sucks. No, shoot! 
you die. I thought that was where the steel keg was, not where a buzzer's wings were. Dude, there's there's more to game. There's more to making levels hard than just spamming tough enemies. Like this is Donkey Kong Country 3, not Pikmin 2. <laughs> Dear Lord, like the developers are just having a love affair with buzzers in these later worlds. And in the case of underwater levels, lurchins, who are basically buzzers when it comes to underwater. Buzzars. Buzzer. Not buzzard. <laughs> Dane buzzard! Alright. Oh yeah! Baffles Code Room! <laughs> hey, hi there, kitty. How are you doing? My name's Baffle, the Master of Code. I've got a problem at the moment. I can't break a code that I've been working on. Maybe I should reflect on it. Hey, kitty, is that a mirror you've got there? If it is, can I borrow it? I've got a hunch. No problem! Hey, look at this. It was a riddle written backwards. It says, To open the gate at the two stones make eight. Well, what do you reckon that means? Can you figure this one out, kid? Alright, time for creepy caverns. This level is pretty luck-based. With its main gimmick. At least it gets to that point. So the main gimmick are these ghost barrels who will appear and disappear at random. So, at the beginning, they're not too bad. It's basically just time when they're there or not to get through it. The problem is, eventually, they start appearing in different directions. And later on, they, it literally... I don't see how any human can have a reaction time fast enough to jump in, so you just kind of have to jump in and hope they're facing the right direction. And sometimes they just don't want to cooperate. Just for two bear coins, that's not worth it. But at least at least we get amazing music. Nope. Yeah, it is pretty annoying. It's also a level where it helps to have Kitty to take out those big fat crocs. I think this one is always facing up. So here they're moving at a reasonable speed. They won't be for long, though. How do I describe the graphics of this game? Like 2.5D, maybe? I remember certain parts of this level basically being like, uh, 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 just like teleporting in it like once per second. Maybe I just have bad reaction times, or maybe I'm exaggerating, but I remember this certainly being tough, especially in the GBA version. I think they're slow. I think they reappear and reappear more slowly in the SNES version. That's where the checkpoint is. Oh shoot.
Wait, I kind of need need the barrel to get through there. Shoot. Maybe there's a barrel past here? Otherwise... Ah, that's right. Here we get Squitter. Well, I lucked out there! Here's that second barrel. Find the coin! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. <sighs> I hope I'm still on Squitter when I leave the bonus barrel, but something tells me I won't be. Nope. Hmm! Oh, I think I can do this with Dixie's ponytail twirl. It's gonna be tough, though. Also, those buzzers staring right at me is kind of disconcerting. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I, that, I don't like how long it takes for it to process that you lost a bonus game. You have to listen to that, like, ten roll, second roll, and, like, oh, you lost, General. It's annoying. Great. Well, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Wow, that didn't take long. Great. Nope! That's bad. I generally prefer having Dixie alive to Kitty. In case you couldn't tell by me constantly trash-talking Kitty. So, we're not getting squirted this time. Got both the bonus barrels, I just have to hope that the coin isn't behind the team throw. Nope! Darn you! Duh! Wow, he did- Wow! That's a one in free chance that it'll shoot you up, and it just would not shoot me up. I don't like the luck, the luck-based aspect of the ghost barrels. Sometimes it's like, wow, you got it right away, but a lot of times it's like, nope, you're waiting for a real long time.
Alright. I am really bad at reacting to these. Especially when it just refuses to give you the right one. Oh, speedrunners do hate this level. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen people do speedruns of the SNES version of this game. Yeah, they, they hate this level. Why can these guys not be killed by Squitter? Oh boy, a one-up. To add to my collection. See how long it takes for me to get the right one this time. Again, each of these is a one in three chance to be the one I need. No! I'm trying to throw it upwards and then... Dog darn it! Ah! I've gotten this one before, but I'm trying to... I'm scratching my head trying to figure out what the heck to do. Like, the barrel cannon was not cooperating with me. <laughs> also, that sound effect gets on my nerves after a while. So let's just rip the sound effect from the cloak in the second game. I've gotten very lucky with that one. <laughs> like, the sound effect is funny at first, but after you hear it 800 times in a row, it gets on your nerves. Like most sound effects. Squitter at least gives us an extra life and some <laughs> extra survivability. It's interesting how this gimmick can simul- oh, that's annoying. It's interesting how this gimmick can simultaneously, like, help you and hurt you. It's like, it could shoot you to where you need to go, or it could shoot you into the bees. So sometimes you need to go in, and sometimes you need to not. No, nope!
Why is this red buzzer in the way? He's just making things annoying. Like, I feel like if the red buzzer wasn't here, I could do this easily. Hang on a second. Okay, so it can't get out of there. This is strange. Stop picking up the screen, kitty comb! Just let it roll onto the exit. There we go! Alright. Okay, so they don't appear and disappear as fast as I remember. That was still annoying, though. Ah, uh, yes. Where there are two make eight, so we're gonna swim a figure eight around here. And there we go! Sewer stockpile. I think this is where things get really tough. Darn it. Forgot the last one. Alright, still doable though. It's the last two that I think I'm gonna have to take a video of. <laughs> of it before I go. Alright. Cranky and here we go, lightning lookout. The gimmick of this level is that there's lightning that will be striking almost constantly, but you can make it strike the enemies. And it lets you know where it's going to strike before it actually does, so just don't be in the water when it strikes. Soul's pretty. I don't remember this level being that bad. Bash the baddies. Well, that was easy. Like this isn't an this isn't a super easy level, but like I remember this being one of the easier levels in the world. I am very surprised I did not die from that. Just gotta pay attention to where the lightning's going to be striking. I actually think this hole is pretty fun. Very interesting idea. Oh, there we go. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. That's why I keep prefacing this by saying, I remember the level be- I'm not saying the level is the easiest. I'm saying that's what my memory is. Collect 15 bananas. Oh, look. This one I remember being nasty because the lightning is constantly trying to kill you while you're collecting the bananas minding your own business. Alright, 
both bonus barrels and the coin were gone without much of an issue. Oh, I was wondering when that would happen, yeah. That end part is a little nasty. buzzer didn't get struck. It was right on top of it. Was he uh, yeah, invulnerable? I'll use this barrel as protection. If the lightning strikes me while I'm carrying a barrel, it won't affect me. Enemies are not unaffected by lightning. Only the red buzzers are. It is annoying when the lightning strikes the barrel on the water, and that's like your only safe spot. But also, if the lightning strikes the barrel, that means you can be in the water. Too bad. Now this level is annoying. Coin dozer clamber. This one you gotta be really precise with your jumps. Because these guys will charge you down. You can jump on top of them, but only if you are directly above them when you land. Which is harder to do than you might think. With Dixie's hair it's not too bad, but... If you're even slightly off position when you land on them, they will knock you off, and usually they will knock you off into a cliff. So my advice, don't lose Dixie. Oh hey, bazookas are back! Excuse me, can I see- oh, I see you back there. <laughs> yes, it's true. Lightning cannot affect you if you've got a, a barrel above your head. It's like if you, it's like being in the car as well. What's annoying about the, what's annoying about these guys is even if you like ro try to roll jump off of them, you can sometimes get smacked by them while you're rolling. So yeah, Dixie makes this level a lot more manageable. Kitty calling like a good one. Which is so often the case in this game. Bonus barrel? Not too bad. Both of them were just hidden in the tree branches. Oh, yuck. Oh, I am the wrong Kong right now. How did I not? Okay, um... Yeah, I'm just gonna swap over to Dixie Kong real quick. It's gonna be a lot easier to do this with her. Alright, cool. Both bonus barrels down. <laughs> it would be interesting if one of these coin dozers actually had the coin instead of the coin, but... 
No, we still have this guy. He doesn't move. More conveyor ropes. Am I s Did I seriously do that whole level in one try? That is a tough level. But again, I guess I guess Dixie's ponytail twirl really does work wonders. Alright, time for the final level before the final boss. Poisonous pipeline. This level would be an absolute joke if it weren't for the fact that the main gimmick is when you're underwater, your left and your right are reversed. And what's annoying is sometimes you have to jump out of the water into the air, and when you go, as soon as you leave the water, your left and right go back to the air. But like, as far as the actual hazards in this level go, not that many of them. Like, again, if it weren't for the fact that your left and your right got reversed, this level would be a cinch. Even then, I still think this is probably the easiest level in the final world. Especially after you do Pacifica. But yeah, like, look, there's hardly any fish. The underwater levels are never done. Bash the baddies! Up and down are still normal. With Ongar, you can even just select your height and then just press the B button to go forwards. That's what I do. Alright, bonus barrel number one is done. Oh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> on guard will turn into on guard. This is a good plan. I like this one. Okay, nothing over there. Uh oh. Yeah, but like, look at the shocking lack of hazards. Oh, don't worry, guys. We still have Kitty Calm. Oh, great. Kitty Calm in an underwater level. Oh, look. I mean, to be fair, that was 100% my own fault, but still. Thanks for the free bananas. Oh yeah, 100% most of the deaths in this game were caused by Kitty Calm. I, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Partially opened up. 
It's like how most deaths in the first Donkey Kong Country are because of Donkey Kong. He's just not as good as Diddy. Well, Doggo. He's stronger than Diddy, but Diddy's better at platforming. And since it's a platforming game... Do the math. Alright, Kitty Kong, we shan't be trying to take on On Guard this time. We will just have to swim past the fish. Also, it feels like Kitty, it's very hard for him to stop moving. Like, I feel like his brakes aren't quite as good as Dixie's either. Anytime where you have to go from swimming in the reverse controls to in the air with the regular controls, that kind of messes me up. <laughs> also, if, you, if you're playing on emulator and you really want to make this easier, like when you're in the water, you can just change your controller mapping so that your left becomes right, and then you have normal controls underwater. <laughs> wow, he has no style, he has no grace, but Kitty Cone is putting these enemies in their place. Yeah, it's it really again this level even even with the control reversing, it's still not that bad. Because again, the developers went into this level realizing, yeah, your controls are gonna be reversed, so let's ease up on the amount of enemies that there are. Darn you. Though, again, they just seem to be putting the same obstacles in every single room. It's like, oh, let's put the, f the fish that moves between the two urchins in every room. Oh, well, now this time it's two fish moving between two urchins. Ho oh, ho, we're so original. It's much better. That bonus barrel can be annoying to get to. Collect 30 stars! You bet, kid. That was easy. Oh, that's right. There we go. <laughs> that's a funny one. And there we go. See, poisonous pipeline, not too bad. Our... Yes, good, that is flying straight and true. Time for the final boss in Castle Chaos. Hi again, Chaos. Tom's back. Clicks. This time, Chaos will be victorious. We'll see about that.
hit him once with a barrel. And his head flies off. And now we see his true face. Bye, Chaos. Yeah, he's easy. Pay no attention to the croc behind the curtain. Oh no! What have you done? My wife's going to kill me! I used all her best pots and pans to make him! And then you just cast him aside! As if he was a stack of empty tins! I thought that's what he was! What? How dare you! Chaos was my ticket to world domination! And I'd have gotten away with it! If it wasn't for you meddling kids! I guess it just isn't your day, is it? Well, you may have roasted my robot, but I'm the master chef around here! And I reckon it's about time that your goose was cooked! Alright, real final boss time, Baron K. Rulenstein. Oh, he uh, he goes farther than I thought he did. We gotta hit him with a barrel, but we gotta do it in a very specific place. <laughs> hit him in the jetpack. Well, we got a bit of a handicap now. Especially since he can corner me really easily. Now the question is, will it give me the checkpoint after I beat Chaos, or do I have to beat Chaos again? Normally there is a checkpoint in- Oh yeah, no, cool, the checkpoint's still here even in tougher mode. I like that. Because the Chaos fight is not difficult, it's just tedious. This is a very unique final boss. It's very different from the other Donkey Kong Country final bosses. <laughs> It is interesting that he doesn't have his own final boss music in the GBA version. He just uses the generic boss music. This is where things get dangerous. For him. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Maybe you shouldn't have the floor electrified. No! Uh oh. Great, it's all on Kitty Kong. <laughs> You're awfully high up now. Whew. I like the gimmick of needing to hit him in the jetpack to malfunction him, so that way he falls into the electricity. It's really creative. You also actually need to use the duck. <laughs> electricity actually destroys the barrel. Darn it, hit him in the butt and I didn't do anything. 
Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was close. Wooden barrel apparently does not like electricity. Will Kitty Calm be able to pull this off? The world may never know. No! Oh! Oh, that was the finishing blow, too. I- we killed each other. <laughs> I feel like that electricity st blasted me way sooner than it should have. Oh, wait. No! I forgot about his first phase. No, I want Kitty Comb to save the day. <laughs> Misa special! I actually, I do, I do want Kitty Cone to save the day. He is, Kitty Cone is possibly better at this fight than Dixie is. He's better at throwing the barrels. Because Dixie Cone is really slow. To throw the It always turns on to zap him when he reaches the ground. That would explain it. I was not anticipating that. Uh oh. Dude, just turn the electric floor off and I wouldn't be able to do anything to you. Well, I guess maybe maybe with enough barrel attacks to his back, I would destroy his jetpack. But, like, he's still a crocodile. He could put on his old, his old Donkey Kong Country 2 blunderbuss outfit and, like, let it be. He's just nonchalantly chewing bubblegum during the final boss fight. <laughs> Gotta be patient in this fight. If you if you rush in trying to deal damage really quickly. It's not gonna end well. You're also probably gonna die to a bunch on your first playthrough. All right, it's all on Kitty Con now. <laughs> Saves the day! Whoa, whoa! My head! What happened? One minute I was dreaming about the world's biggest pile of bananas. The next I was a power crazed madman! Hey, don't worry, Donkey! Thanks to Dixie, it's over! I'm impressed! I bet even Cranky would be after that performance. Nope, not really! Right, you go this way, Kitty, and I'll go that way. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Hey, <laughs> thanks. Unfortunately, that's not the end of the game. 
Now we get to see the credits, but we still have the bonus boss world left. And, unfortunately, Funky's final freaking boat game. Which is the thing I'm probably worried about the most in this. They just ripped this background out of DK Country 1. <laughs> Kitty Calm did pull his own weight, yep. I, like I said, Kitty Calm is good for that final fight. Because he's, he's got the power with those barrel throws. He throws the barrels really quickly. And him and him holding the barrel in front of him makes it easy. You can just jump into his backpack, basically. His, into his jetpack to knock him away. It is a little uh, risky, though, because if you jump too far, then you hit it as well and take damage. I forgot I can fast-forward all this. You guys can read quickly, right? <laughs> There we go. Oh, Cranky and Funky beat me. I'm an average ape. Wow, that's not very nice. Oh yeah, I'm doing the bonus world this stream for sure. For sure. Okay. So first off... Can I do Funky's next game yet? If so, I want to get it over with. I'm just hanging out today, coming in and blah, 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 blah. You still five coins short? Nope. Okay. So I, I need to get every single... I need to get every single DK coin in order to unlock his final game. Alright, we're off to the Lost World then. Here we go, welcome to Krematoa. And this is where we're putting our bonus coins to use, at Boomer's Bomb Shelter. Hello, Boomer's the name, blowing things up is the game. The rest of the folks have sent me up here, said I was too dangerous or something. My brothers might be happy with those dull bear coins, but I'm only interested in the gold ones with the B on them. If you can find 18 coins, I'll get this beauty primed and ready to blow. Then you'll see why they call me Boomer. Fancy giving me some coins then? Go on, have a go. Let's do Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Good one, Kitty. That's bought you one of Boomer's specials. I, I can buy a lot more than that. By the way, Kitty, did I mention that my last special cost 26 coins? But hey, it'll definitely be worth it. Let me do it now. Fancy giving me some coins then? Go on, have a go. Okay, Boomer. Good one, that's bought you one of Boomer's specials. So yeah, you gotta give him bonus coins every time you want to unlock one of these levels. There are five levels in this world, and... They're all- pretty much all of them are awful. By the way, Kitty Dabbit, you that my last special is 26 coins? Some are better than others. Fancy giving me some coins? That's bought you one of Boomer's specials. Great, so Funky's final game is basically going to be the last thing we have to do. By the way, Kitty, did I mention my last special cost 26 coins? Alright, just... I wish... I wish he blew up... I think in the SNES version, you can give him as many coins as possible, and he'll just blow up all of his stuff. I guess this way's more dramatic. By the way, my last special is 26 coins, so now we need to get all the bonus coins in the game for him to unlock the last level. Alright, we start off the Lost World with Stampede Sprint. I have very mixed feelings about this level, so... Playing this casually, I'm like, this is a great level, one of my favorite in the game. When I Let's Played this game for my 100% Let's Play, this level tortured me. But then I realized most of the torture came from me be just being stupid. So, we'll see how it goes here. I like the idea of this level, at least. I just gave Dixie a concussion. So, there are actually three bonus barrels on this level. Collect 15 bananas! Unless I'm mistaken, I think all... 
think all of the bonus barrels on this level are collect the bananas. Which sucks. And there we go. First bonus coin. me the K. We're probably not spelling call on this level. There's the second bonus barrel, but there's a third one. Collect 15. Oh, oh this one sucks. This is, this is one bonus barrel that I really feel like if you get unlucky with the banana spawns, you just can't finish it in time. Like, if they keep going left side, right side, left side, right side. Thankfully, that didn't happen this time. Also, we need to use Dixie's ponytail at the beginning. So for this level, if we want the last bonus barrel, we gotta keep Perry the Parallel Bird alive for the whole thing. So there are a lot of Zeners on this level that, to avoid, but only the red ones require you to jump with Perry. The green ones you'll just run under. I did not realize that when I was doing my Let's Play, so I kept trying to jump over the green ones. And it is possible, but it's basically free. Like that. But I do like this overall level, like having to run from the rats. Oh well. I figured we were going to die on that at least a couple times. Also, I just want to point out that the bonus barrel that you get for keeping Perry alive for this whole level is the worst bonus barrel in the whole game. So even if we get to the end without killing Perry, uh, there's a decent chance we'll still have to start the level over again. Rats. <laughs> and Perry died too. <laughs> That's perfectly all right. I think this level's fun. I also realized I don't even have to touch the control stick or the B button. I literally just have to press the jump button. Ellie, we really need to get over your fear of rats, though. I'm on it. All right, there we go. Bonus barrel time. Okay, this all sucks. Collecting 15 b bananas. And we gotta use Perry. Oh wait. No, it's the SNES version of this bonus. In the SNES version, in the SNES version of this, you have to jump over that Zener as Perry every single time. Okay, never mind. In the GBA version, this is easy. In the SNES version, you literally have to jump over that red Zener if you want to go across it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Keep getting that mixed up. SNES version of that level is way harder. 
the sprint is a lot sprintier. And we get our first cog. Cool. Oh, and now now it's time for a level that's way harder in the Game Boy Advance version. Crisscross cliffs. It's an interesting level, but uh Oof. That is a blinding tile set though. So this level you need to jump into this onslaught of steel kegs. In the SNES version you can just jump on it and you'll ride them up. Here, if you if you jump into the steel keg, you take damage. Not that's not the case in the SNES version. I don't think you can take damage with these steel kegs in the SNES version. Ouch! I hope I didn't need Kitty Kong for anything. Oh, not another freaking banana game. Yeah, they they went kind of creative with the uh, Kremitolo level designs. This is arguably one of the easier levels in the uh, Lost World, though. In my opinion, the levels kind of progressively get harder in the Lost World, which is how it should be. <laughs> Creative with a K, yeah. Yeah. Like, if I did that in the SNES version, I would not have taken damage. So some parts some parts of the game are easier in the, G in the GBA versions, others are not. I think on average, though, the GBA version is a lot harder. guys hopping for. Didn't we declare this a no bouncing zone? Well, I hope there was nothing over there that I needed to go grab. Because I did not want to go up here just yet. That's, that's just a weird dead end. That worries me. Oh, hi. It's the Tyrant Twins. That's weird. <laughs> They're apparently shooting through the red buzzers, if the red buzzers are not on screen. It's a little shorter than that. Oh, that's sneaky, but I like it. There we go. I actually really like that, uh, that secret. Oh no, do I freaking need the team throw? No, well, never mind. The last dead end is where the checkpoint would be? Really? I mean, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. I just thought we were a little late into the level for the checkpoint, seeing as how we had gotten the G. This, what a creative idea for the level, though. It's like, let's make a level where you have to ride up a cliff by jumping on a sniper's bullets. Yes! Like, in a sense, that is what this level is all about. I think that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd rather go this way than the way with the Tyrant Twins. I was jumping on top of that. <laughs> I missed a couple letters there. Oh, shoot. actually a lot more fun than I remember. I remember it being a lot trickier to jump into this crossfire in the GBA version. It still is, but not nearly as much as I remember it being. What? Darn it, killed by a kaboin. <laughs> Kitty's like, I beat the last, but the final boss. I'd have nothing to prove left. Side paths really just lead to the letters. I guess over here there's just like, let's just dump a bunch of bear coins just in case you haven't collected enough to buy it. Oh, ah, I always forget about that buzzer. Yeah. This is not a difficult level, I'm just making it more difficult than it needs to be. As is so often the case. Doggone it! I swear, like, half of my deaths on this level are just because I jump into the ammunition. you can jump into the ammunition on this level in the GBA version and not in the SNES version makes things very frustrating. Okay. Darn you! Da! Every time! Solo Dixie. And again, yeah. Like ninety percent of deaths that happen on this level are just because you jump into the crossfire. They're so they're spaced so closely together. It's, it's a lot harder to avoid doing that than you would think. Also, 
also makes me wonder why they would change the GBA versions, but that could happen. Look, it, did, it happened freaking again! I was even using Dixie's hair to prevent that from happening, and it still happened. I think you need Dixie for that part. Maybe not both of them, but you at least need Dixie to be able to do her ponytail twirl. Freaking time! That one jump in particular, I always get hit by the stupid crossfire. Freaking time! Dixie's, like, hairdo to slow it down to make it a lot easier is still no guarantee. Okay, this part's gonna be okay later. Because for this part, we gotta use her hair to twirl in between the, the kegs. Because after we jump... If we bounce off the keg, we can't use her hairdo. This is going to be real annoying. I hate this level. Literally, if, if you could just not get hit by the crossfire, this level would be so much better. And that is how the level was originally designed. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas miracle. Crossfire at that one jump.
Team Fro, get out of here. Get this stupid bonus barrel. Bash the baddies. Oh my gosh, I didn't hit the crossfire in that bonus game. I can't believe it. I also can't believe I killed that first beetle instead of it killing me. Those Tyrant Twins freaking blocking the coin. The stupid Tyrant Twins were blocking the coin, weren't they? Oh no, I already got the coin. Wait, I already got the coin? I don't remember getting the coin on that level. I mean, I'll accept it, though. Speaking of Tyrant Twins, now we're on the Tyrant Twin Tussle. Guess what the gimmick of this level is? These guys are everywhere. Yeah, they are very similar to the Charging Chucks. Alright, come on, kitty. There we go. That is a really precise throw. Squitter is one of the only things in the game that can kill the Tyrant Twins. Barrel, no nothing. Oh, boy. Worth it. I'm taking the I'm taking the L on that one. <laughs> duck just to shrink my head box. Time I got it, no, without too much problem. Kitty's death scream is quite certainly a thing. So that just leads up to this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I knew there was a bonus barrel around here somewhere. Collect 40 stars, that's a lot. Well, that's really easy if you got Squitter. <laughs> I don't know why that was a collect the stars instead of just to find the coin, though. Oh, what? That's not what you're supposed to do. Great. If 
about the team throw, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting that other bonus barrel. It's always best route. Okay. Never mind, top route was not the best route. Still gotta find that other bonus barrel. Okay, that was a little too close. I probably should not have done that. Hey! Are these guys, like, training for the Olympics in here or something? Because they're doing sprints and, like... Hoppy doing playing leapfrog with each other. It seems a little weird. And sometimes doing both at the same time. I think well, my least favorite part about the Tyrant Twins is they're extremely unpredictable. Like, sometimes they just hop, sometimes they hop and sprint, sometimes they just sprint. And even if they're just hopping, where they hop and what like order they do it in is not always the same. Past the squitter sign, they're gonna jump, turn around, and then dash. Just like that. Alright. Really? Still can't go up there, though. That sucks. Okay, we're not doing top route this time. Bananas are where we hang out, so we can be safe. was a safe spot. Okay, I'm very confused. There was a safe spot on the way over, but not on the way back. Is that it? I was trying to stay on the safe side. Okay. Wouldn't be an artist stream if he wasn't making weird noises when he was in a bind. But here, we got into the bonus barrel, we cheesed it. Find the coin.
coin is found. Cool. Now we just gotta get to the end. <laughs> that's either a very tight safe spot or not a safe spot. Yeah, that's possible. Maybe it was just... I wasn't in the exact right spot. Cool. Skip that cycle. Okay. This is another safe spot. No, you cannot jump on these guys. That's a little evil trick of theirs. If you see a single banana all by itself, grab it. Oh, I hate this bonus game. If memory serves for this bonus game, you just gotta, kinda gotta hope that the bananas keep spawning on the same spot that you're standing on over and over again. Like, you got some time, but not as much as you might think. Whew! Alright, three more bonus barrels left in the game. Actually, wait. Did I get all of the ones on Crystal? Yeah, I did, okay. Alright. <laughs> time for Swoopy Salvo. Three bonus barrels on this level. So there's one of these woodpecker guys we saw on an earlier level. The gimmick for this level is those woodpecker guys are everywhere. And they're here to cause highway jams. Alright, easy first bonus barrel. Find the coin. Alright, well that was simple. Not quite Iago! Nope, it's Squawks. Thankfully, it's not Quawks. Wow, you don't give me much leeway for that. All that for a bear coin? This is a level that I'm torn on whether the SNES soundtrack or the GBA soundtrack sounds better. Because the SNES one just fills you with so much despair, which is what this level's good at. Oh! Thank you. For again spawning the enemies out of nowhere where I couldn't react to them in time. I am not looking forward to the last bonus level on this. Or maybe it's getting the coin. There's one part where you need to use th this, these constantly streaming birds as platforms, to let, as like basically a staircase. Oh, you jerk butt! It 
It's always the freaking buzzer that swoops in out of nowhere. Buzzard? Buzzer, not buzzer, but yeah, got the, you got the idea. Stupid collect the bananas mini games. I hate them. Thankfully, the swoopies are coming out at a slow rate on this mini game. <laughs> oh. For shame, you should not be falling asleep in church. Okay, it's the f it. Ooh, wait. Okay. That is a precise one because you have one shot on that. Oh, is this the part where you need to use them as a ladder? There's one part where you need to use them as a staircase, being bounce, 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 bounce up a whole bunch in order to reach a bonus barrel, but I think that's the last one. Well, I think you should try the ice first, kitty. Your life is a little more expendable than Dixie's is. You can't put a price on someone's life. Normally, I would agree with you. Zigzaggy trick. <laughs> that was probably way too stupid. I should not have done that. That was not worth risking Dixie's life. That's the one. That's where you need to use them as a staircase. Collect 20 stars. Um, you've got to be kidding me. You need to use the team throw. So if you go in there without both of the cones, then you're just screwed. I mean, I would have had to redo the level anyways. Would you guys believe me if this still wasn't the hardest level in the Lost World?
Yep, you need both cones to beat the last bonus barrel. Very true. Well, just take me, Swoopy. Top squawks. Oh, shoot. I guess I'll try to get to the end just so if this happens again, I can start select instead of losing a life. Okay, well, <laughs> climbing up it. Max speed is not going to be enough to get rid of to go for the swoopies. We will have to take it slow. Oh come on! <laughs> Every single other time I played that, just take me. Every single other time I did that, it it, it hit the buzzer. Yeah, we're not reaching 100 lives. Not happening. This music feels like it's a little too happy and cheery for the horribleness that you're going through. Getting that, getting to that last bonus barrel. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that so much. Squeezing through that gap in the birds is the worst. <sighs> Well, I'm sorry, Proxima, but my priority is getting 101% this stream, not getting to 100 lives. Sorry, not sorry. We've only reached the end. a lot of swoopies. so hard to jump on their heads. Spawn two swoopies right in a row there just to try and hit me. I do not appreciate that.
This is gonna be a tough one. Sure, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can despawn the swoopies. Restart the cycle because being able to jump through all at once like this. No! Freaking A! I swear the swoopies are the weirdest hitboxes in the world when it comes to jumping on them. Like, they look so big, but no, their hitbox is tiny. I forgot how annoying this level is. Still better than Rip Curl Reef, but... One of these days I'm gonna make the rush to end, I'll hit the freaking red buzzer on my way in. I do like how you use squawks for part of the level and then the cones for the other part, like that does keep it fresh gives you kind of a two different perspective on the swoopies, but I, I still hate the swoopies. Especially when you're playing as the cones. I swear, like, they're perfectly spaced so that you can't jump on one right after another. I hate it. I hate it so much. Those guys are kind of set up where you can jump on one right after another. Okay, at least we reached the end, so if we lose one of the cones along the way, we can start select instead of having to die. So that'll make it at least a little quicker. That was dumb of me. I don't know what I was doing. There's so many woodpeckers in this level, by the way. Like, there are more forests in this world, but, like, all the woodpeckers are just like, No, I want to be in this forest. <laughs> so there's not enough room for all of you, but it's the best forest. I bet this is a level you could do really quickly if you just got every single pattern down, down, down. Like, I can do that uh, vertical part really quickly because I know the pattern of the swoopies, and, like, if I move in a zigzagging pattern. Oh 
Oh my gosh, I finally got there. Whew. Yes, you are. Oh my gosh, final bonus barrel. Well, hopefully we're close to the end of the stream now. There we go. We've, got, we've gotten all the bonus barrels in the entire game. So now we can open up the final Lost World level. Which is possibly the worst of them all? Are those cogs you got there? You know, I reckon they'll fit on this strange box, which has been here ever since I moved in. Pop them on and let's see what happens. Looks like you're going to have to find a few more of them to, to all fit together. Perhaps there are more hidden in the other areas. Go on, Collins, I reckon you can find the rest. Don't forget, there's still demolition to be done. I'm itching to press that button. Fancy giving me some coins then? Go on, have a go. Do okay, Boomer. Good one, Collins, that's about you, Boomer's final special. Oh, yeah. That's it, Collins. I'm all out of explosives. Looks like you're gonna have to find some more, then. Alright. Time for the final level of the game, and possibly the most infamous of all. The one, the only, Rocket Rush. Alright, here goes. This all sucks. <laughs> it's completely different from every other level, and you kind of have to play perfectly. Well, that didn't last long. Well, nope. <laughs> this is a lot easier in the SNES version. Where you can just kind of run through the buzzers like they're nothing. Here, you gotta be very, very precise with your controls. Although, the, I don't think this level's really gonna be any tougher in the hard mode, because this level doesn't have a checkpoint in the Game Boy Advance version anyways. And, like, there might be one calm barrel on the level, but... Honestly, I'm not even sure if it's that. How did that still hit me? I burned through him with a giant flame. This, that part right there, that is the worst part. You can't go too slowly, because then you'll run out of fuel. But if you go too fast, you're going to die. Controls in this are so finicky, by the way. If you touch any bee, if any part of the rocket touches any bee, then you instantly lose a calm. You gotta hit the bees with your fire out of the exhaust ports if you want to kill them. Yep, yeah, we're up to rocket rush. I got. I have to press the A button to make exhaust come from the bottom. But that also slows us down. Then you can use left and right to move it left and right and make the exhaust come out of the way. I hate this. I hate this level a lot. That part in particular is just sadistic. This is the only rocket themed level in the original trilogy. Returns and Tropical Freeze introduced the Rocket Barrel levels, which even those are different from this. Darn it. It's 
still got hit. Okay, okay. We're through the worst of it. Now we launch to victory. Assuming we don't hit anything along the way. No. Oh, I missed the fuel barrel. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. This level did have unique music in the SNES version. No, I almost flew right into the fuel barrel too, and that would have saved me, I think. Yeah, it look it looks like I just like ran into those zeners and killed them. I had I tapped A right before each of those to make the exhaust hit it. I basically at that point that part I basically have just committed, like on that vertical part with all the green zeners going back and forth, I'm just taking a hit there. There are no bonus barrels on this level, so it's just getting the coin, which is at the very end. Also, in the SNES version, you could kill the red buzzers by burning them. There's also normally a checkpoint barrel in the SNES version, too, so... Yeah, GBA version of this level is way, way harder. Although the SNES version had slightly worse controls for the rockets, because you had to push left to go right. And vice versa. Rocket is so big. I hit that guy with my exhaust. I don't know what you want from me, game. Like, I'm not sure if that's even possible to get through that set of zeners without taking a hit. Like, maybe if you went ridiculously slowly, but then I'm pretty sure you'd be running out of fuel. If not now, then, like, at the end of the level. So we got for that without taking a hit, but now our fuel level is very low. Okay. Uh -oh. do I have left? Great! I better be able to grab Okay. I'm like, if, if Kitty Cone can't grab the keg. There we go! Every hero coin, all levels, all gears, all bonus coins. Yes. Oh, 
thank goodness that's a short level. Alright, we could put all the gears together, but no, that would be very anticlimactic if we did that. Now that we've got all the hero coins, Funky's got something for us. Unbelievable type of a situation! You found all the DK coins! Sorry, Kitty, I didn't think you'd actually find them all because you're terrible, so I got nothing new to show you. Hey, Kitty, just kidding, you know? May I introduce you to my finest and coolest creation yet, the Funky Copter? Oh, no. This is the worst thing in the whole game. Challenge 4 race. Back again? Radical! This time you need to use the Turbo Ski to beat your opponents to the finish line. Do three laps of the track to complete the challenge. I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> Only done it once before, so we don't have a gun. We gotta beat them all to the exit. They're constantly trying to ram us, and we have very limited HP. If we touch the boats or any part of the course, we take massive damage. So what inevitably happens is like you pretty much always bowl up before you can complete three laps. Like, look at this. I'm still on lap one, and I almost have no HP left. Oh, look, I just died. No, this this is so... This is probably the worst fiend in the whole game. I literally have only done it once. It was for the Let's Play, and it took me, like, an hour. For one, it really depends, like, if you just get hit by the boats a ton at the beginning, like, there's half your HP gone. And because the controls are, A, so finicky, and the turns are so tight, like, if you just even, if you look at the wall wrong, you're taking massive damage. And you can't really drive straight. Like, you never know when the turn is coming up, because again, the screen is small. Like, I'm trying to drive- I am trying with all my might to drive straight, and then you, you just- you freaking- you cannot. You, you just can't. Like, if you move the control stick even slightly, you're just going to careen right into the wall. So you basically have to constantly be, like, adjusting on the control pad. Is this race harder than the Goron race? Oh yeah, unquestionably. Unquestionably, this is harder than the Goron race. Goron race, like, it's kind of random, but if you try it enough, like, eventually you'll get it. This one, it just, like, it doesn't seem possible. This doesn't have rubber band AI, but, like, because the HP is what's Because, like, it, it's constantly, like, this race course, it's constantly snaky. It's not a straight line on this part. It's weaving back and forth. So you kind of have to weave with it. And again, because the screen is so small, you don't really know when it's going to turn. And some of the turns are really, really tight. And because you have to go at a really high speed in order to outtake the boats... It's a perfect storm for a bad race. I think I'm going to release the accelerator occasionally. some added safety. Also, it seems like your HP just is constantly draining. Because that might be your fuel.
Like, look at that. I had three bars left, but I just barely grazed the side, and it's just like, you're dead. Goron Race is not impossible. The key for Goron Race is you just have to purposefully suck in the first half and then try in the second half, and it's a lot easier. Still annoying. Still terrible. Still absolutely awful and definitely should have been fixed, but, uh... Again, the issue with this is not to beat them. The issue with this is just getting to the end. To the end of three laps without losing all your HP. Because apparently the boat is made of, like, not even paper. Paper is more durable than this. This is made of kitty comb. You don't even have to touch something to die. You just, it looks at you funny and you die of fright. It's that, but in both. First lap went really, really well. Barely got bumped by the boats at all. And we're doing a nice job of avoiding the boats. Even if we had, like, a tiny map to show us when the turns were coming, that would really help. Also, if you hit one wall, you tend to hit a lot, because, like, you'll bounce off the wall into the other one and bounce back. Like, look at that! I don't even think I hit the wall, and yet, like, it still took away two of my HP. that track. Here, take these. Can I have the freaking bird now? That's what I'm really after, Funky. Well done, dudes. You passed all my challenges. Here, take this strange looking bird. I'm sure it'll come in useful. Time to catch some rays. Well, hold on there, buddy. There's something I want to rent. So now we got regular boat, hovercraft, turbo boat, and then banana copter. Alright. <laughs> this is where this is where we get to the caves where I'm just I'm literally going to on my phone record the pattern because um there's no way I'll be able to get it all properly. If you can remember all of that, then great, but I know I cannot. Pays cash. Oh, wait, shoot. I was not recording that one. Was that like 20 in a row?
Yeah, I'm not even going to try to remember that. Hilltop Horde! Alright, let me get my video ready again. What's next after Donkey Kong Country Free? I think next week I will be doing a Zelda randomizer. Probably Ocarina of Time. I think that's all of the... That actually might be just all of the banana birds, period. So let's visit the Banana Queen. Oh, thank goodness! At last somebody has found me! That rotten yellow belly K. Rule imprisoned me! Behind this evil barrier which he sealed with a dark and powerful magic spell. Then he commanded a bunch of his wicked Kremlings to hide the only ones who could split the crystal key. My poor children, only all of them together have the power to break the spell. Please, Kitty, find all of my children and bring them back to me as soon as you can, in return. I promise to rid this land of K. Rule forever, so keep your eyes peeled and return as soon as you can. Once I get out of here, I'm going to give that banana brain K. Rule a major headache. Uh, you've been waiting, like, a few months, maybe, for me to do Ocarina of Time. It hasn't been that long. I think Wrinkly Cone has all of the banana birds. Hello there, it's me, Miss Wrinkly Cone. I found life too hectic. Have I, is this my first time visiting her? <laughs> While the naughty Kremlin's pestering me, I've devoted myself to my inner self. It's so relaxing here, it still seems like it's missing something. While you're on your travels, keep an eye out for the strange banana birds. If you manage to find any, bring them back here. Go off then, off you go. One thing, you can save your progress at any time by pressing start. Yeah, I... Banana birds, follow me. Let us take out K. Rule. How many banana birds do I have? Oh, I'm missing one. That's why. It's... We, well, we got DK Country Returns and DK Country Tropical Freeze. Those are kind of the same. Alright, let's do the final boss then. Boomer's Bomb Shelter. The true final boss, that is. Hey, you've got another one of those cogs! Put it on the machine and see if anything happens. Well, they're all on. Doesn't seem to have done much, though. That's what you think. What on earth is that racket? Hey, take a look outside, kitty! You won't believe it! There he is. It's the submarine we saw at the op game's opening. Phew, it's roasting in here! I must pop down to Bazaar's and get a fan. He's not cheap, is he? So I can't... I, maybe we get the final banana bird for beating the final boss, or maybe there's a secret here that I forgot to get. I think we've gotten all the rest, though. Nope, alright. Well, let's fight the final boss, then. In the Nautilus. What the blazes? So you're the ones responsible for scuttling my super secret submarine! This is the last time you'll spoil my plans! I'm going to bash you for good! Whoa, Pigman! Right, look out, you cheeky monkeys! Yeah, take that. Uh oh. Why don't let me jump on top? <laughs> I was trying to jump up here. Wouldn't let me.
This time we don't even need to electrocute him, we just need to beat up his jetpack. Oh! Oh, well, that didn't last. Well, let's try that again. Dixie, maybe don't just blow a bubble gun the whole time. It's the Banana Queen's fault that we don't have K. Rule as a villain. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the fair thing to say. Kitty, just, just, don't be a doofy. That's all I'm asking. Oh, uh, now the conveyor belt starts. Still easy to deal with, though. Oh, hey, he's here. Oh, this is where the electricity blasts us. We need to use the steel keg as a shield. Uh-oh. Shh! <laughs> Kitty? You're supposed to be good at hitting him. Um? You've got to be kidding me. So it... Even though I beat him, it doesn't count that I did because I died before I could pick up the bear coin at the end. Is that how we're doing it? What? Why didn't there be... Why wasn't there a new steel keg spawning? Oh, that's so dumb. At least this guy's not a tough fight. Hot take, the toughest boss in the game is Bleak. Or Squirt. Kitty, it's all up to you. Which is weird. Bleak really shouldn't be the hard. It's like a snowman, a snowman who you have a snowball fight with. But like, for some reason, I find that snowman to be very difficult. Knowing that you can drop steel kegs is very nice to know in this fight. <laughs> Stupid invincibility frames on K. Ruhlenstein. There we go, now he's gone. I think. <laughs> nope, never mind. There we go, now he's gone. Radiant, key, cool, calm. I thought he gave me a banana. So I'm missing a freaking banana bird somewhere. I got it from Cranky, I got it from Swanky. Did I ever wait? Hang on. 
Okay, yeah, I did get it from Bachelor Bear. There must be like a random one-off cave somewhere that I missed. Darn it, I wanted to finish with the K. Rule fight and then immediately go and get the true ending, but... Eh. Well, lovely. Well, we'll go back to all the worlds one by one. Maybe we missed one of the really easy caves. Okay, we know we got Bounty Bay, or whatever that one is. Went to Bachelor's Pad. We got all the funky ones. That's when I, I can't... I thought I remembered where all the caves were, but maybe I didn't. Oh, that barn is even creepier than I remember. Where we fight Belcha. <laughs> Guys, we all know Belcha's the toughest boss in the game, right? The toughest boss across all of the Donkey Kong Country games, though. That's that's a tough one. I'd probably say either King Zine? Uh, Captain K. Rule from the second game is pretty tough. Or maybe, like, Master Neki Sr. from the GBA, from GBA 1. Maybe I missed one in the Chaos Core. Like, I opened up that secret there, but like, if I swim down... Oh, does that just push me out of the world? Oh. I miss it in Pacifica? Maybe I missed it in Cotton Top Cove? Just checking, this is Swanky's Dash and not... Okay, yeah. It's not a cave. Oh wait, it might be here. don't want to go into Cranky's dojo. He has no prizes to offer me anymore. No, I got the only cave here at the end? I think it must be in a secret cave somewhere. Closer to the waterfall, of course not. Alright, let's try Cotton Top Cove. It's always the worlds that have water you can swim in that have the secret caves. At least the tough looking secret caves. The other ones are just like, oh, you know, go visit this one bear and he'll. Cotton Top Cove. It might be like, oh, it's a cave around here somewhere that I just didn't unlock. Is it really, a, is it just on the other side of this? No, it's not. There's always one freaking banana bird that, that escapes me. gonna be an arty looks up where the fane is. I thought I had all the freaking banana birds. Climb wood 
forest, maybe? Okay, now I got the one secret cave here. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up, because I swear I've gotten them all. I swear I've gotten all of them. I've just looked at all the locations, and I think I swear I've gotten them all. Question. Will the banana queen just be like, oh, now you can break the seal? You still need to find one. Really? I did... I did go back to Bachelor Bear, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I got the one here at the base camp, right? Yeah, I did. Alright. Bounty Beach, yeah. And Belchaburo, and Kay's Cash, and the Hilltop Horde. Did that. Did that. Did that. Did that. Did that. Yeah. Alright. Ramble, you don't have one, do you? He does. I'm glad these horrible machines are destroyed. Perhaps my beautiful flowers can start to grow again. Here, have this banana gold this flutteris. Okay, why did you not give me this last time I went in here? I'm very confused why he didn't give- he was holding out on me. I visited him earlier after I beat Mechanos, and he didn't give that to me. Please, you found all my children. Go to Wrinkly's cave. She'll tell you what to do. Why can't I do it right here? Talk about anticlimactic. Maybe I'll edit the. Maybe I'll change this in editing to make it look like right after we beat the final boss, we get the true ending. My word, they seem very excited. It looks as if they want to take you for a ride. Go on, kitty. Don't worry about your boat. I'm, I'll get cranky to fetch it for you. I have my helicopter. I Whoa! Why is kitty getting the honor to do this? Dixie did most of the work. You did it! You did it! You found all my children! I found them and visited you, and you made me leave. At last, I can be free of K. Rule's spell. Ready, children? Sing along with me! Oh, I'm so happy that we're a family again, and it's all thanks to you, Kitty. Dixie apparently did nothing. Now, as I promised, it's time to carry out my part of the bargain and teach K. Rule a lesson he'll never forget. <laughs> she sounds like a duck, that's great. A 
apparently that's the lesson he'll never forget. Oh my gosh, he'll never get out of that eggshell. <laughs> no way. You know, I remember that ending scene being a little more... epic than that? <laughs> so he's just like, oh, K rolls right about... Oh no, they dumped an egg on him. Whatever will he do? He's definitely never been in a bigger bind than this before. <laughs> it's not like he got shipwrecked in the first game and, like, literally fell down his entire island in the second game. But there we go! That's Donkey Kong Country Free Hard Mode 100% on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> He's got egg on his face, so uh huh? I guess this means the next Donkey Kong challenge I'm going to attempt on stream is Donkey Kong 64 max percent, but that's gonna not be right away, for sure. I think I'll do a Ocarina of Time randomizer uh, seed next weekend. That'll be fun. And I know that people did vote for Ocarina of Time a while back. That was before I found the Paper Mario randomizer. So that'll be fun to do next weekend as just an in-between series. After that, well... Now I get called a cheater for playing on hard mode. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> oh, rating! Cheating jump! <laughs> I didn't even realize that! Ah uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, it's not my fault you didn't use the secret code. It's also probably not their fault either. Yeah! <laughs> well, that was fun. As for what I do after the randomizer seed, well, I got an idea. It's maybe not the best idea, but it's something that I need to do sooner or later. You haven't seen what happens if you beat 103% in under four hours? Neither have I, because um, I guess that is possible, but I wouldn't want to attempt that. That is not the music for the Banana Queen. I wish they used this boss song a little more. It only plays on Eric and the Croctopus. If you beat 103% in under 4 hours, do you get an even higher ranking than what I got? That would be kind of funny. Nuts and Bolts is still the best song from the game, though. <laughs> the only DK Country free challenge I haven't done is SNES version Christmas mode. Oh yeah, we never saw the game over screen. I was too good. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna end the stream there. We That was a longer stream than usual, but definitely... Glad that we cleared that out of the way. <laughs> I will not be going back to Don't Kill Country Free for a while, I'm quite sure. Thank you all for joining in. It was great chatting with you all. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.